All right, let's see. New game. Let's play this on normal. What's going on, guys? Playing a little bit of Nino Kuni. You know, I'm starting up this let's play through of pretty much every game that I have that I haven't beaten. I, I'm backlogged on a lot of JRPGs right now. This being one of them, I got Tales of Zillia, Tales of Symphonia. I'm not I can't even remember if I beat Tales of Graces, but whatever. Get a move on, Ollie boy! Slow down, <clears throat> Mr. Drippy. But ding dong dells just on the way. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Huh? What do we do? Run for it! Ah! Go in, shall we? Huh? <coughs> hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. That's right. A whole nother world. Beautiful, innit? Aw, yeah. <coughs> Check this out. Level 5. The last level 5 game I played was... Dark Cloud, which I never beat. I, I have a history of not beating games, apparently. But that, that was a great game. I like Dark Cloud. But for some reason, I got to the final boss and just stopped playing. I don't know why. But yeah, I don't know. I decided to do a Let's Play of Nino Kuni because, one, I love Studio Ghibli films. Films? Why did I say it like that? Studio Ghibli films. And Level 5 is a great game. I heard this game. I mean, I did play somewhat. I mean, I got up to the part where... Spoiler alert, I got Esther, but I don't know, I stopped playing, and then I'll speak of the devil. But uh, I stopped playing, and then I never got back into the grind of it, but I mean, this game's a good game. I heard it's kind of childish, very simplistic. Uh, this is going to be a long let's play through. I'm probably just going to stop midway again, I don't know. I'm just kidding, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's just sit back and look at the amazing artwork. Though. This, this is why I love this game. And the and the and the names of the place: Ding Dong Dell, the Cat's King Cradle, or something like that. I forget. I love the alliteration. It's just beautiful. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Should I? Uh, do I want to skip this? I'll skip it. <clears throat> it's too long. I don't want my whole intro video to be like 20 minutes or something. It's oh. cutscene. Shh. <clears throat> Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. Really? So he finally finished it, huh? Do you know where he is right now? He just stepped out with some deliveries for me. I doubt he'll have gotten far. Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Sure thing, Miss Layla. Ollie! Over here! Oh, it's Philip on ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twee! Let's talk to these people. My them potatoes. How's your ma? Uh, yup, 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 yup. Run! <clears throat> Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. Gee golly. So what Miss Layla said? Is it really what I think it is? What else would it be, dum-dum? <laughs> He's a dum-dum. Boy, you are something else, Phil. So what do we do now? <laughs> Boy, I'm sure stupid, Phil. Gee golly, I can't think of it. take your first spin. I'm a hater. Tonight. What? Tonight? But I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom. And... Sure, sure. You go ask your mom. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Pure pressure. Jerk. Well, I... No, but... Okay, we'll do it tonight. But we'll have to be real quiet. 
Sure we will. Okay, tonight, my garage. Be there or be square. Square. Sure. Narc. <laughs> <clears throat> so, this is the child who will save the world. Or oh, so says the crystal ball, your radiance. Hmm. And the dark jinn's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver, your radiance. Oliver? Let's just run in the streets, cause you know, fuck the law. YOLO swag. STOP! BANG! Ah, oh. Game over already. Alright, so we gotta go down here. Hey, Mr. Repairman. Oh, gee golly. Man, I love this game, though. The music, the atmosphere, the artwork is amazing. I think I feel like this, this playthrough is just gonna be me saying this artwork's amazing the whole time. And you know what? I don't even care. I don't care one bit. Hey, big lady. Oh, what an awful mess, I know, right? Alright, let's go there. Ran into a mailbox, can't even check it, but whatever. <clears throat> hey, Mom. I got the groceries. Thanks, sweetie. Just pop them on the table, will you? British accent. Quite lovely. Say, Mom. Hmm? Did you say something, sweetie? Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oh, you will, huh? <laughs> Will you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast? You'll be late for school. Mm. And chew before you swallow. Mm. 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 I could use the fork and lift it up the whole egg. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. I could inhale the breakfast. Oh god, Oliver. See you later, Mom. Bye, sweetie. You be good now. I will. Fuck school, right, Phil? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy, such a badass. Don't let the glue. Don't let the glasses fool you. Dumb, dumb. What a jerk. Tonight's the night they're gonna become men. Nudge, nudge. And this is where the game goes from children's, like, Disney Studio Ghibli type thing to a horror game. And I'll show you why. Look at how creepy this alleyway is. This is like Last of Us all over again. Open the menu. You'll be presented with a range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main menu. Start to save the game. Blah, blah, blah. You can now use the main menu. Gee golly, thanks, video game. Alright, uh, let's go back into my room. Ah, just kidding. I can't even do the dramatic fast turnaround. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. There's one thing I realized about this game, like, environments like this, there's not too much to explore. It's not like nooks and crannies of things you should be going back to find. Old, R old JRPGs were all about, like, Oh, retracing your steps and going back to like random nooks and crannies and you'll find some of the most random things ever. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Let's see, this is creepy. This is when the zombies attack the mirror. Go this way. And they jump you. That's a different game, I guess. <sighs> Alright, let's just get the hell out of here. <coughs> oh, 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 someone over here looks so rough. It's 
from Grand Theft Auto. Ah, oh, damn it. I tried. I tried. You saw me try. Alright, let's go. They want me to take the most obscure route. Oh, shit. I gotta sneak up on these guys. Dun 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 this is Motorville, you'll be okay. What? You're gonna get hit by a car. You'll be okay. So they say in like rape scenes and other things. <coughs> hey! In here! <coughs> what are you looking at? What a jerk. What is it with that kid? What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever! All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, is this me? Oh, this is so, so neat! You betcha. <laughs> the new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. It's not even close. So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? Yeah! <laughs> Starry Mary. Oh no, they spotted me. That's a trick. She's a ghost. Alright, we just gotta make it down this street without dying. I think that should be easy. <coughs> The coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver, don't go. Huh? H who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh, that girl over. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Huh. That's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. This kid's oh, problem. No. Couldn't be. He's an ass. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Turns back and <gasps> he's like nothing. And you turn forward and there's a ghost. That's, that's how they do horror movies, man. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be disturbingly powerful. Disturbingly. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally tenacious? What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, Your Radiance. Exactly. He who would save this doomed world must die. Sweetie? Where are you? Oliver?
Oliver! Um, you're kinda busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kinda early, huh? <gasps> Oliver! <coughs> Oliver! This is not looking good. Not good at all. They got the freaking murder theme song going. Uh, uh, oh. uh, would you listen to her, Purr? Ready? Take it slow to start with, okay? Yep, got it! All right! Racer. I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk? I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you okay, Phil? Must have twisted my ankle back there. <laughs> Whatever will you uh, children get up to uh, next? Uh, huh? uh, Allie! Allie! Uh, Allie? Are you okay? Mom? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom! Oh, dear. I'll fetch the doctor. Mom! <laughs> Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom! You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me. Mom? Mom? Mom! No. No! Don't leave me! Yeah. Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. <clears throat> but shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. <clears throat> To see how this story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. Yes, yes, it will be. She kind of looks like Kerrigan from StarCraft. Oliver. 
over, honey. I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy told him. Oh, Timmy it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. Poor oh, fat cat. Oliver, Mummy starts her new job today. But she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mummy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Be good while mommy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Hmm? Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. We'll always, always be together. Always. Oh, no, that's when it turned dark on. <clears throat> <clears throat> You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy? Lord High, Lord of That's the Fairies. That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you were sniveling and mourning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days? I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. What? I, uh... Oh dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Uh-huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, isn't you? Stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. <coughs> Tidy. On with the show! Uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of you or one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. <coughs> and I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by you in this world of you is, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the Dark Jinn, his name is. And what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh huh. And then you went and cried all over me, and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I...? Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know, but you'll be all right. Especially with me to help you. But I... Oh, want me to ask properly, do you? Fair dues. What? Mm, fair dues. Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please <coughs> come and save our world? I... Um... No. I like that. <laughs> I like his response. Sorry, too. I must have misheard you. What did <coughs> you say? Go on, once more, but louder. I won't do it. I, I mean, I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. Mm -hmm. I ask nicely, and you give me a hearty, yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. Yeah, how am I right? supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. Seriously. Well, I don't know anything about your world. <coughs> and This kid's I good. He's the type that never gets kidnapped. 
What? Because your mom dropped dead? Oh, that's cold. Yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh. Hurry up, will you? I am there all day. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great <coughs> sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save your mum. Huh? What are you talking your about? Your mum. You ready for another year fall? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, your mum, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and your mom's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your mom back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now. But it's possible, yeah. Wait. How do you know all this, Mr. Drivy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings on over there. His now, buddies. <laughs> I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not <coughs> I was sending my lordly orders back over there too, having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Totally tidy. Hmm? What is it? I'll... I'll, I'll do, do it. it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvelous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves <laughs> our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. I like this guy. Tidy! We better get going then. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. Tidy. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I like how he runs. Oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> it's so dinky looking. Let's go in here to the forbidden room. It's forbidden for several reasons. <coughs> Let's go to that fireplace he spoke of. <clears throat> what could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Huh? A book? But it will burn in there. Not this book. The wizard <coughs> companion laughs in the face of fire! Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha! <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion, the fount of all wizarding knowledge. The wizard's companion. Of Waverly Place. We got the wizard's companion. Oh, the wizard's companion. Press triangle, go down to it. X, take a minute. Skim through the few pages, you'll learn stuff. When you get your hands on the page, you make a pledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All you have to do is write your name in the book with an open, honest heart. You don't even have to write Oliver if you don't want. You can write Bunting, Crybaby, or whatever you like. The important thing is that you'll mean it. Scribble your your name down. Ryan. C. Lad. <coughs> I am now taking the pledge. Tidy. <coughs> right. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Hmm, now let's see. Mm -hmm. What is it? A wand. You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? A Why wand. would we have a wand? A wand. Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We'll just have to look for one outside. 
Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. bunting. Crybaby bunting. My name is Oliver. 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 Ah, so the crybaby bit was right. At least was it. <clears throat> Right ho. Let's find a substitute wand. Browned and sticky. Raises eyebrows. Run, 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 run. Some of you are thinking <laughs> this lamppost. Yeah, motherfucker, I'm the biggest, biggest wand user ever. Let's run. I'm run. No, 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 no. One second. Sorry, mun. I got nothing for you. Not a sausage. Not a diddly squat. Zero or zilch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't forget to pop it in your bag. I know, right? It's time to put my bag. Okay. The bottomless bag. <coughs> I wish other games gave me a bottomless bag. Uh, what did I get? Yeah, fairy suit. Can I equip this? Oliver's clothes. Draggle, the Draggle ticket. Oh, yeah! I didn't get the damn Draggle yet. Okay, let's go get that later. Alright, let's go this way, because that's what the stars say. Hey, 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 lady. Thank you for removing all of the possible wands off the field. You've done this this planet a great service. <coughs> Sorry, I keep coughing. I'm, I don't know, kind of sick. I think I don't know. Tidy. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. Bunting. Take another quick quick look around your house. Oh, okay. And while he does that, brown and sticky. Oliver. Oh, it's you. Slow, dramatic, romantic walk. You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. So, how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where He's are disgust. you... Going? <coughs> hey, where did you go? I love childhood Oliver, imagination. Why are you talking to thin air? If I was an adult, they Mr. would flip Drippy. the shit out. She disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange <clears throat> girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. <clears throat> there is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick. Like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? He just wants to fame too. Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me. I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. <laughs> but it looks like I got my answer. A huh? younger, prettier model. I wonder what Well, so like. you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? That's cold. He never said yes or no to that. Right where that girl was standing. <coughs> you, Chuck at her. Ta well, I'll be <coughs> a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it. See? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But. For our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. What a stroke of luck. 
Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Do I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Right, now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph. Do we really need that much oomph? Oomph. Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, <coughs> isn't it? It's sacred, right? You have to. Mm hmm. You really. Beginner stuff. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um. Town Square, let's go. The bottomless bag. I got a stick. Look at the symbols. The symbols say, go fuck yourself. I'm just kidding. I take that back. Alright, let's run this way. Go into the town square. Hey. Hey. It's late outside. What are y'all doing on a street corner? Stop trying to buy her. Stop trying to buy her. I'm trying to see what you suspicious people are up to. Do you really <coughs> think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? <coughs> Go on, Ollie boy. Cast Gateway. Um... Aw, oh, yeah. Gateway. Let's use a battle spell. <gasps> That's it, man! You got it! <coughs> that dog's brilliant. <coughs> Told you, they didn't notice a thing. Yeah. Let's get a shunt in, crybaby bunting. For the last time, it's Oliver. Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Oh. Tidy. I imagine they pull a Lion King and have the huh? drippy die in that stampede. Hey, wait for me! A la Mufasa. So this is your world. Ah, home at last! But there's a <coughs> tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk! Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? Creepers. Creepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? <coughs> ah! What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? 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 Ah! Look lately, he's making his move. Dun 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 dun. Oh. Let's do it! X to attack. Don't forget, Ollie. Let your old pal Drippy talk you through the basics. Yeah, I know the HP, I know the ma magic power. Rough. Red Dog shows your HP. Get down nothing. Speech bubble. Thingies down there. Commands. Alright. Confirm your choice. Righto. Good cracking with the whip. 
Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, oh, critical. Nice. <coughs> Let's go pick it up. Do, 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 do. Glim, Ole Boy. Glim like that heals your HP. The blue ones give MP. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let's give him another thwacken. Oh, tidy. Ah, oh, tidy. 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 Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 come on. Bring, oh, bring it on. Yeah, smack it. Ah! Tidy! Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Biggest brawl of my life. Easy money, yo. Wahey! Nice one, Oli Boy! Jeepers, creepers. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. You're having a <coughs> laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical <coughs> as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. No, I told you Ding Dong Dell was Ding just Dong over Dell. by yonder, didn't I? Just beyond well, yonder. If we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, oh, didn't he? Hello, scary. Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have <coughs> no poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. That's true. Broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Tidy! Oh, he didn't say. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! Alright. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. <laughs> Ding Dong Dell. Tidy! Tidy. Let's go to Ding Dong Dell. Ah, oh, look at this. It is quite beautiful. I think it's touching this with your, like, your hand. Alright, so... Three food leftovers, munch on it. Okay, uh, to the north, yeah, sure. But there's a sparkly here, let's go get some sparklies. Oh uh, yeah, booster shoots. What y'all know about booster shoots? Nothing. Oh come on, come on. You know, let's fight this. <laughs> A rhino sword. Uh, attack. Ah. Ah. Defend. What's up? Okay, never mind. Attack! Uh, rhino sword. Uh. Oh, what's up, son? What's up? What? 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 Oh, come on, come on, hit me. No. Tidy, tidy. Ah! Uh. No. Uh. Uh. What's up? What's up? Oh, look at that crit. I'm so good at this. Let's grab the healing orbs. Yeah. Oh, tidy. Spring water. Uh, let's go around the mashing X button all day. Should call this the X Mash stories. 
Ah, uh, I did one of those. What? Turn around things. Ah, oh, it got me. It's a bartender. <laughs> we can do this. I like that. That's funny. Uh, defend. Oh, crap. Almost didn't defend. Oh, no. Give me some wrong buttons. Mm. Bartender. Oh. Oh. oh, that hurts. Bartender. God. Tea bag it, tea bag it. Don't let me. <clears throat> Ooh, how tiring. Oh, tidy, I leveled up. Just, just one goal. Hey, Oliver, level two, ten. Level two. All right, uh, let's just go to Ding Dong Bell now. Da -da -da -da. Did that. I've been doing that the whole time. I like the little rumble, if you know what I mean. Wait. Let's just keep going. Welcome to Ding Dong Dell. <clears throat> Look at that guy over there. Hello, Peppy. Uh, <laughs> Why am I even alive? <laughs> Looks to me like a classic case of broken-heartedness. Broken-heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken-hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and useless, uh, they think. Go weird and so useless. So his heart was broken by... Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way... We can't get into Ding Dong Dell. One, two, three, four. All right. Well then, I guess this will be a nice place to stop for now. Actually, no, I can't even do that. Let's go outside first. But yeah, I think this would be an excellent time to end the episode. I shall catch you guys on the flip side. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm just going to save over my old file because this is a new file. Plus, it's a Let's Play through. So, you know, that's always fun. Probably going to go ahead and record some Dark Souls now or something. But I don't know. Whatever, guys. Uh, peace out. Episode 2, we're going to go fight the big bad tree guardian. Something like that. Whatever. Bye, guys. <laughs>